Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Mischief Makers. Last time, we finished up the first half of Aster's Lair with varying degrees of results. We got a couple of the gold gems, however, we did also miss three of them, or two of them. I was miscounting Ghost Catcher, but whatever. Today, we are going to be scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of level design as we take on Aster's Lair's worst levels. Honestly, I kind of thought it was going to be bad going in, but replaying these levels... Not all of them are that bad. I guess the only bad one for the first half would have to be the Rolling Rock one. Totally Raw is a fun fight. Answer Kids are a fun fight. Rescue Act 1 and 2 are, you know, a fun change of pace. And Taurus, even though he was a little bit annoying for us during that fight, he's still a fun little challenge. However, I cannot say the same for the second half of Aster's Lair. After the Taurus fight, the bad levels just start coming out of the woodworks. And we'll get right into it with Ghost Catcher. Kind of fitting, since Halloween's right around the corner. Oh, it's you, Marina. I'm Kane Aster, leader of the Resistance. Your timing is perfect. Lately, there have been a bad, there have been bad ghosts everywhere, and they're doing bad things, like you know, existing. Marina, would you catch these ghosts for me? I prepared a special pot that only holds ghosts. If you can catch all the ghosts, there will be a reward for you. The reward in question, unfortunately, is not the gold gem, which, you know, being a cane and all, you'd think that he would cough up a, a bit of gold for us for, you know, helping us rid his hide hiding lair of ghosts. Does he actually have anything on, on him? Nope. Alright, so we gotta go. This is a bit of a maze, and there's our first ghost, so just snag him right there. As I said, it's a bit of a maze in here, and mazes is basically what the second half of Aster's Lair is going to compose of, aside from, I would say two levels, because they're boss fights and all that stuff, uh, also three levels, I don't really count the, the second fight with the, um, yeah, the B sector, because they're, they're their own thing, they're not really tied to the level themselves. Come on, rise and shine. Let's go. Just because you're in your grave, you know, minding your own business does not mean you have the right to exist in this cave. So says the king. But there's like two levels in this uh, in this area that are just straight up garbage because they're maze levels. What do you have to say? Press down twice to quickly roll through narrow places. Wow, thank you for giving me this hint this late into the game. Do you have anything? Nope, you're useless. I see a ghost hiding back there. Yeah. Now, aside from the ones that are shooting fire, which, you know, I'm bringing a, a tool to imprison them for all of their afterlife, these ghosts really aren't doing anything. The king's just a big dick. Throw one up there, grab it, and stank the ghost. Got a, yeah. got a pair of spooky specters back here. Yeah. Got him. Nice. I was kind of hoping I would get, like, the double capture with that, but I think you can capture both of them if you angle it just right. But we can't just capture that guy by inadvertently just throwing it through here. What do you have to say? There are 13 ghosts that you must capture. Move or destroy statues and effigies to make finding ghosts easier. Certain effigies can also be destroyed by bombs. Wow. Maybe the Resistance truly isn't the, the good guys in this. Maybe the Empire for all their flaws, are the true, you know, heroes of this story, because if the Resistance wants me to, you know, blow up graves and effigies, are they really the heroes? Well, I gotta destroy it anyways, because I believe those three back there hold the gold gem for this area. So we'll ride our little Nimbus Cloud back down here, because I believe right here is, yep, a clan bomb that has 16 seconds. We gotta race it all the way back to those three effigies. I think the center one has the gold gem. Hopefully the blast radius will just take out all three. Oh, nope, it was the last one. But whatever, we got our gold gem. I feel happy. We don't ever have to come back here because I'm still not the biggest fan of this level. The next, or no, the last like official level of this area. And also I was just never a really big fan of the music for this. Not to say that the music in this game is terrible by any means, there's a lot of good tracks for it, but still. Nothing for the graves. Aha! There was something in the grave, though. I'm kind of... Oh, wait, actually, can I just peek inside? 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we got nine ghosts so far. Come on. I know you're in there. Rise and shine, bunny. All right, I guess I need a bomb for that. I think I already captured you, but just to be safe, because there may be, you know, that one friend who decides to sleep over for so long. Nope, no one. Anything to you? Nope. What do you have to say? You're just crawling around all over the place. Did I ever talk to you before? Yeah, probably not. Oh, great! Eat the bombs. No one's home. Alright, so we captured those guys. Oh. I think... No, you just drop a boomerang. Here, we'll get to go something fun to play with. Oh, right. I can't. Oh, wait. I think I know there might be a ghost hiding with all of these. That's why they give you the boomerang. Ow. Let's try this again. Need to get it like right in the center of them all. Come on. Ah, they keep responding too fast. There we go. I knew it had something to do with those uh, spikes. All right, we got all the ghosts here. That we have ten ghosts. We're still missing three. Nothing back there. There's just a reverse cross. I'm guessing they're probably hiding in the e uh, effigy statues or graves. I don't know what... I guess they'd be effigies. And the, the brown ones are the graves. So I'll just drop you right here. Let's head on back down and grab ourselves some bombs. Oh, no. I know where they are. We missed an entire section back by King Aster. Going up. I wouldn't put it past this game to hide one that goes in one of these, like, side effigies. I completely forgot about this area. Alright, back here we've got some flowers. Aha, there you are. The flower ghost I see. And over here. I'm guessing he's probably hiding between the two effigies right there. And by hiding between the two, I mean he's hiding in one of them. So let's head back and grab ourselves a clam bomb. I said grab ourselves a clam bomb. Race back here. And completely whiff the throw. Way to go, me. Yeah! That was just an absolute disgrace. Yeah! Hmm. Alright, it wasn't that one. He must be in the, hiding in the second one, then. I think that's the last ghost we need to find. Unless there is actually one hiding in one of these little effigy statues uh, by where the Nimbus clouds float up to. I don't even know if that's the official term for these things. I just call them that because they remind me of the Nimbus Cloud from Dragon Ball. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look. See, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We are missing one ghost. Now, where could he be hiding? King, do you know where he is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't know the king went flying that far. For someone of his age, he's pretty nimble. All right, I'll just drop this here. And let's go on a ghost hunt. Nope, nothing there. It, no, it couldn't be. How would they expect you to get back there if you blew that up? Oh, it's worth a shot. 
Although I think I might screw myself out of getting all of this. Oh, nope, we can still boost over. And, surprisingly, no one, there was no ghost hiding in there. Oops. Alright, two ghosts were hiding in there. There's a ghost hiding back here with that clancer. I don't even know what these clancers are doing in here. Are these, like, the resistance troopers, or just are they just spelunkers who found themselves trapped inside this cave? Oh, no, they couldn't. They wouldn't. They didn't. And also, that wasn't the right one I was looking for. I remember there was, like, one with, like, a... Maybe I did blow it up. Nope. I wouldn't put it past this game also to have, like, one that goes like, possessing one of the Clancers here, and you need to shake him out. In fact, that might not be a good... That might not be a bad thing to do. Yeah. Nope. Shake, shake. I must exercise the demons! Nope, yeah. you're clean. What about you? Shake, shake. Nope, you're clean as well. What the hell? Eh... Uh, Buddy? You doing all right? Hello? Clan boy? All right. Clancers just want to work on their glutes. I'm not going to judge them. All right. What I will judge is the hiding place of this last ghost, because this is getting a little ridiculous. That's clear. Wait a second. No. I was thinking... Uh, if it even was this game, I might be thinking of a different game, that there's a false wall hiding behind here, and we need to find one that goes hiding in there. Maybe he's hiding in that grave, or effigy statue, I don't know what to call him anymore. And behind grave number four, there he is. Up we go. Head on over here, and let's grab ourselves our last ghost. At least it fast travels you back to Aster. Good job, Marina. Now we don't have to be scared of any ghosts. Oh, wow, thank you so much for the pitiful, you know, amount of money. Is that old, old man? I bust my ass to get you 13 ghosts, and all you can give me is 10 gems. I know you're holding out on me, old man! You don't lead a resistance without, you know, having the money to back it up. I will say, he he throws pretty darn fast. The crown must give him some aerodynamics. Yeah, Rank D kind of figured that. But at least we got our gem, so... All's well that ends well. However, something that will not end well, our troubles with Aster are not over yet, because we gotta go retrieve his trike! Where are we now? Did you find my favorite tricycle? Oh yeah, it's right over here, right next to this exploding bridge. Yep, this is a chase level. This place seems to be very fond of the chase levels. Now, this is basically BMX done badly. I'm not a big fan of this level at all, and as a kid, it was the bane of my existence playing this. There are some ways we can get uh, the trike up there, however, there, at least there's some checkpoints. We have to outrun the bridge being destroyed behind us. I think it just takes over uh, where you are. It doesn't actually destroy the bridge itself. But as you can see, we have to get this trike to go back. If we lose the trike, then we, you know, have to go back to the last checkpoint. And they expect you to do precision platforming with this. Thankfully, we got over that. However, this is not fun. Oops. I think that might have been the end of it right there. At least this level is sort of short and it's not a maze. 
that's one of the only praises I can give it. However, this precision platforming part is the bane of my existence. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually get out. Let's continue after this because of this stupid precision platforming segment. It's so bad. Going. Ah, we didn't boost far enough. Thankfully, it drops us off right here, but we have to boost almost immediately because the explosion is right behind us. Just keep boosting. The goal gem for this is right in front of Aster. There's a little platform back there that we need to boost just far enough, and we failed it. It's kind of tricky to pull off, especially since I don't think you can actually see it and you need to just take a leap of faith with this thing. But yeah, at least it's in, right next to the end there. Ah, crap. I hate this strike! Woo! Oh, so we don't lose the trike. We just, you know, can't make most of the jumps like we w would normally. Right, that's pretty funny. Nope. Oh, everything does explode behind you. So yeah, you need to pilot this damn trike to get it back there. I may just cut. It's almost like a, a even worse version of the the exploding block chase level back in the Megan's uh, shrine. But at least there, you had more control because, you know, you were playing as you. You weren't, didn't have to dictate yourself to this stupid tricycle. Yeah! Alright, let's go. We made it. Oh, there it is. There it is. No! Oh! Well done, Maria. Now I can ride my tricycle again. Yeah. There doesn't even, there's not even a warp gate at the end. You just have to be super lucky and not land too close to Aster. Otherwise, he outright ends the level for you and kind of screws you out of getting the gold gem. One of the more many reasons why I hate this level so much. But at least we get a little bit of a break because, moly cow, do we have an easy boss fight up ahead. I struggle to even call this a boss fight. If you thought the worm from the beginning of the game was very easy, well, way to prove me wrong. You're supposed to be one of the most docile bosses! Why is he so aggro towards me all of a sudden? Alright, I was gonna go easy on you, buddy, but no! Ow. Where are you? See? What do you think you're doing, huh? What do you think you're doing, huh? I was gonna go easy on you, I was just gonna pass through here and be on my merry way, but now you made me mad! I don't care if you cry those crocodile tears or you, you have that that little sweat drop on your head. I am going to throw the ever-living hell out of you for what you did to me. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not letting you go back underground. Now, cough it up. I like that one of the like little like bird tweeting effects around his head is Maria herself. Don't know what that says about this guy. It's also musical notes. I don't get why it's musical notes as well, but who cares? Gold gem for this fight. It's pretty easy. All we gotta do is just keep jumping on him like this. And sooner or later he'll cough it up. It's completely random as to when he does it, so there might even be a, this run I might not even get it from him. Especially if it keeps getting up like that. Come on, cough it up. I know what's in there. Nope, not that. Cough up the gold. Give me the goods. You pay what you owe, and I'll let you go free. Cough it up. I don't care if you're dreaming of me while you're knocked out cold. Give me the gold. Come on, cough it up. Ow! Wow, he is so pathetic, he killed himself. I didn't even have to do anything. Although, holy hell, he almost killed me with that. Oh, 
well, there's another gold gem we're gonna have to come back for because, again, just complete RNG dictates the gold gem for that guy. Also, that is probably the most aggressive I have ever seen him be. Usually, he just lies there minding his own business. He doesn't outright just start charging towards you and just dive bombing you. All right, it's time for the apex of bad levels in this area. It's time for Aster's Maze. They end this off with one big maze level. This is the cave's last stage. It is a com complicated maze. Use the red warp gates to find the Sasquatch Beta. It is located 1,000 yards under this cave. Don't forget to talk to your friend. At least one saving grace for it is A, they give you a map for this, and B, they, you know, played one of my favorite songs for this level. Do you have anything, King? No. Yeah. Useless! Yeah. Nope. Nope. You don't get to be saved by the one. No. Yeah. Go where you belong. Warp zones 1 through 8 will each have a red green exit. So yeah, I like a little clan buck right here will tell us where we are in uh, revelations to the warp gate. We have to get to the very bottom of the red area to get to the, the boss of the area, of course. You have anything good on you? No. I believe that the gold gem for this is located somewhere around here. Right next to uh this four because it kind of goes like one two three four five six seven eight it's a really weird way they do it four gates next to these things will always drop you off on the other side i believe next to the numbers themselves they drop you down to a completely random one well random ish it's a set number like jumping into two will take us back to one i think what does one take us it takes us back to two. Over here, we got a, a warp gate we can't go through, so we'll go to green three. And jumping through to here takes us to red four. Oops, what do you got to say? When you enter a warp gate, it might... Might take it to the wrong place. Use the maps. Uh, let's see, we need to get to, to get the green floor, because I actually do have a thing up in front of me, because this place is so complicated, I actually took notes on it. We need to go to, let's see, green floor, we need to go to red two. Wait. Oh, that's red four. Which means our pathways up there. To get to red 2, we need to go to green 7. And that just completely took us to the wrong direction. So we'll go to red 4 next. Takes us to green 6. What does Miss Hint have to say? The case boss is Sasquatch Beta. It's your second meeting with Taurus. You'll need... You'll need two tips to clear this stage. Tip one, confuse the tank's aim. Tip two, after the beast chain shake and slam it into the ground. Don't you get it? Well, figure it out on your own. Okay, Miss Attitude. Red one, red four, and green eight. If you appear in any of these rooms, re-enter these warp gates. That takes us to green 5, and that takes us to red 1, which means we are almost there. If you re-enter the gates, you exit it, it might take you to a new place. Bit of a hint to say that not all gates go to those set destinations. But what we want to do is go over here, grab red 2, make our way to green 4, jump over here, don't fall. If you appear at gate red 1, your goal is near. Re-enter red 1 to reach red 7. He has our gold gem. So long, friend. Thank you for the money. Where's it going at? Oh, his AI is bugging now because he can't get back up there. He's going to do a little dance. Jump into red one. Takes it to red six. Jump down here. And over there is our exit. 
but if we go to red 7, that takes us to green 8. What do you have to say? No! Not that way! Go back! The goal's through green 8! Come through here. Well done! Enter the hole on the right, you'll then face the boss Sasquatch Beta. And we're done with the level. Surprisingly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would. It's no Aster's uh, trike level, but still, if you don't have a guide in front of you, or if you don't really take notes and take what the Clancers have to say at face value, then yeah, you'll be stuck in this place for a while. It took us almost four minutes to get through there. But all right, after coming from an area with one of the hardest members of the Beast Sector in terms of their Transformer uh, vehicle. It's time for one of the easiest ones, Sasquatch Beta. So, this boss fight, pretty fun. Same with Cerberus Alpha, we have to uh, beat him without taking any damage to get the gold gem from him. He's probably the easiest of all the B sectors to get that uh, gold gem from. He'll throw some rocks at you every periodically. His tank will try and shoot one of its shells at you. You want to grab it, shake the barrel up, wait for it to shoot, throw yourself off, and it does double damage to him. And already we have gone into change mode. It engages into a giant Sasquatch, which chases after you. Help! Help! Yeah, he will never catch up to you at this rate. I Actually, I think you're a little bit faster. It looks like the screen's moving a little bit more towards your way. Now, this is actually the fun part. He, his kicks are kind of fast, but it's not that bad. One of the fun things to do with this is to jump, grab his face, and he'll just stand there kicking away at you because he has the mind of, well, an actual Sasquatch. He'll just stand there kicking all day. Come on. Do this. Suplex the mech right into him, and that's basically how we have to finish this boss fight. He only has two phases as opposed to Lunar. I feel like these two should have been swapped because Lunar is a much more challenging fight than Taurus. And also the fact that this has less phases. Come on. I know you want to do it. Up and slam. Should do it. Come on, do it. Do it, you coward. Gotcha. And slam. All right, maybe maybe it takes five slams to take down Taurus. Nope, there we go, four slams. Surprisingly, not that bad. Well, at least he compliments you at the end. He's not all high and mighty. He's actually an honorable warrior. <sighs> and to think, we throw him down out of like a thousand DK space is huge and beautiful, but someone is always trying to destroy that. Love is sad and beautiful, and someone is always trying to destroy that too. It's time to destroy the evil empire and fight for world peace. By the way, here's a useful tip for you. If you get tired of pressing buttons, try using the control stick. <laughs> no. So what did you think? Not much to it, right? Oh, don't get angry. Grabbing is where you must begin shaking for treasure from within. Throwing far is how you to win. Ultra Intergalactic Cybot G Marina. Her throw will conquer you. Hmm. I guess to get the A rank for this, we had to probably beat him in under a minute. Nah, eh, not that bad. I'll take the B rank. I was kind of hoping for an A rank, though. <laughs> Glad you come back. 
Try not to get kidnapped again, Prof, and I'll do my best to protect you. What? Not again! They've come to kidnap the Prof again! He uses his head as a springboard. Hmm, I've got a bad feeling about this. Professor! I've come to get you! Not again! Okay, okay, my destiny lies with you guys. Do what you must. I like how he's just accepting of it at this point. What even is this sound? Ah, not again. <laughs> Emperor, our fleet is ready. We are awaiting your orders. I see. We're getting close to conquering the universe. But one thing still bothers me. Of course, it's Marina. Our true victory will come with her defeat. No, no! I met the prof! I can't believe that she was able to defeat both Lunar and Taurus. But her strength is no match for me. I swear by this golden spear, I will defeat her. Ah, uh, not you too, Mirko. You guys never listen to me. I want you to kidnap the prof. It's the thirst for justice that blinds them like this. It's a bit complicated. I thought we killed you. It's okay, sir. I just heard from the troops that they've captured the prof. They're on their way back and should be here any moment. Is that so? Well done! Ha ha ha, Theo. I'll make today your final day. Funny thing about Kalina, I don't think she actually shows up for the rest of the game. This is just a one-off thing that she decided to do. Surprisingly, exploding into a million pieces at the hands of Terran didn't kill her. She got better. Alright, before we head off, you know the drill. We gotta go back and do a little bit of spring cleaning. And by spring cleaning, I of course mean clean up all the gems that we missed out on. So, I'll see you all in just a little bit. Yeah! Starting off with Rescue Act 1. The way to get the gold gem is pretty fun, albeit a bit challenging. As soon as you get past the Robo Clancer, jump through the two warp gates till you're standing on a small cubby hole of clam box. As you can see, there are two sparkling spots above and below you. These dictate where the next warp gate will drop you off. The first gate doesn't matter much since both of them just lead to the same area. The second one, however, you do need good timing for as it will start to alternate between the two spots. Jump through the gate when the sparkle is above you and you can continue on to a small platforming challenge. Once across, you'll come across a third warp gate. Go through it when the sparkle is shining next to the fourth warp gate below you. Run through the gate for a fun little surprise where you jump across several blocks spelling out Marina. And the last gate is a big challenge, and if you fail any of these gates, you must restart the level all over again. Jump through the gate when it's over the gold gem to collect it. I should be ashamed for not getting Taurus's gem on the first run, cause it's stupid easy to do. Back yourself close to a wall when he throws his punch, grab it, throw him in the opposite direction, and the gold gem will pop right out of him. The three-wheeled menace strikes again. The gem in this level isn't too hard to find, just take some tricky positioning to actually grab it. When you reach the last ramp, don't go overboard with your boosting. Just ease into the jump. You should land either on top or close enough to the gem to grab it before Aster ends the level. Finally, and the most annoying gem to get out of all these catch-ups, is the Mole Mini Boss. As stated earlier, to get his gem, you need to jump on his belly when you throw him into the ground. However, the mole is indeed a stubborn one, and it is random for when or if he even will cough it up. Literally. Yeah! And that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Next time on Mischief Makers, we're gonna finally take the fight to the Empire themselves with the final chapter of the game, the Imperial HQ. A very short chapter, as you can plainly see, however, it is a very story-heavy chapter, so we'll finally figure out why the Empire wants the prop that badly. See you all next time! Later!